So hello again everybody, how's it going? I am Arjun, a pre-final year computer science student from Sastra University, a four-star coder on CodeChef and the president of CodeChef Sastra chapter. Welcome to our channel CodeChef. If you are into competitive programming, want to learn data structures, algorithms and master them, this is the one-stop destination for you to learn. So please consider hitting the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the notifications. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today we will be looking at the problem Queen's Placement which is a cakewalk problem that appeared in the Snackdown Online Round 1B and the prerequisite to solve this is actually none. So without any further ado, let's move on to the problem statement. So the problem statement goes like this. Today Chef took a big chessboard with n rows and n columns. So let us draw it first. For example, now let's consider n equals 3. So it will look like 3 cross 3 chessboard. So next, let's denote the square in row R and column C by RC, okay? Chef wants to place some queens on the checkboard in such a way that the following conditions are satisfied. So each square on the checkboard must contains at most one queen. There are exactly n minus 2 queens on the check chessboard. So if n is going to equal to 3, we must be placing 3 minus 2 queens on the checkboard which is going to be only one queen. All squares are reachable by at least one queen. A queen can reach all cells along the row, column and the diagonals it is placed at. So they are given the formal definition for the same. Help Chef find a possible distribution of the queens. If there are multiple solutions, you may find any one. It is guaranteed that under the given constraints, a solution always exists. For example, taking n equals 3, what can be the placement of the single queen that we need to place? For example, if we place the queen here, so the queen can move to this cell, this cell, because it lies in the same diagonal and taking same column, we can move to these two points and in the same row, the queen can move to these two points. But it is not possible for the queen to reach this square and this square because neither of these squares lie in the same column, same row or the same diagonal as the queen cell. So the only possible way for a 3 cross 3 chessboard would be to place the queen at the middle. So the queen can reach all the cells around it. So in that case, how do we output our solution? So we must be printing the matrix in such a way that all the empty cells would be represented by a dot and wherever the queen is placed, we will be representing that cell by a capital Q. And this will be our answer for the case n equals 3. So now how do we approach this problem? We already know the answer for n equals 3 case. So the queen will be placed at middle and it will be able to cover all cells around it. What if n is greater than 3? That is the question over here. Let us take n equals 4. So what is the change we need to make to this chessboard to make it 4 cross 4? We will be adding one more row and one more column and it will become a 4 cross 4 chessboard, right? So we know that these 9 cells are already covered. Let me number them. And we will be required to add one more queen such that all the 16 cells are covered. So how do we do this? We have only seven more cells to cover and four of these lie in the same column and three of these the left three lie in the same row. So we can place the new queen over here such that all these cells are covered. Yes, you got it right. The idea we are going to follow is, so what, what will be the answer for 5 cross 5? The new queen will be placed at 5 comma 5 and for 6 cross 6, Again, the new queen will be placed at 6, 6 and so on. So how do we approach this? So what we do is, so the first queen will be always placed at 2, 2 as we saw over here. And then whenever n i is greater than or equal to 4, in those cases, we place the queen at i, j if i equals j. So we have seen here, it is placed at 4, 4 then at 5 comma 5, then we place at 6 comma 6 and so on. So this is the strategy we are going to follow. 
I hope you will get the approach even better when we see the C++ and Python code. So without any further ado, let's move to the code of this problem. So here is the C++ code for the approach I had discussed earlier. So first I get in the number of test cases and for each test case, I get in a single integer n which is going to be the size of chessboard. So I loop from 1 to n. So I run a quadratic loop so that we print the answer in the matrix form. And whenever i equals 2 and j equals 2, that is 2 comma 2, in that case I print a capital Q representing a coin. Or else if i is going to be greater than or equal to 4 and i and j are equal, in that case I place a coin that is 4 comma 4, 5 comma 5 and 6 comma 6 and so on as we discussed earlier. Otherwise the cell is going to be empty so I print a dot in that case. And finally after a matrix is printed I break the line so that as per the output format the test case answer to each test case is differentiated. So now let's move on to the python code. So there is no difference. So for each test case I get in a single integer n and I run two for loops nested ones. So here I have used zero based indexing. So if i equals 1 and j equals 1 in that case I place a queen over there. Otherwise if i is going to be greater than or equal to 3 and i equals j again in that case also I am going to print a queen. Otherwise I am going to represent an empty cell represented by a dot and then I break the line. So I hope you understood the C++ and Python code very well. So let us meet in the next video. So that's it for today guys. After watching this tutorial try to code the solution on your own and submit it on CodeChef. If you understood this tutorial perfectly please like this video and share it with your friends who are into computer programming. To stay updated please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. You can also stay updated via our telegram group to which the link is in the description below. Thank you. Have a nice day.